Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the lead code problem find all duplicates in an array which is a famous interview problem. So basically we are given an array of integers from 1 to n and some elements appear twice in the array while other appear, others appear once. So we have to find all the elements that appear twice in the array. So as you can see we have to return the list of all the integers which are appearing twice in our array. So if you use hash map or a frequency array then this becomes really simple but the challenge is that we have to do it without extra space and in off and runtime so without extra space meaning that apart from the list of integer which will be returning and the number array nums array which is given in the problem apart from that we shouldn't use any other data structure so we'll be looking at that approach only so i'll just copy this from the input so as you can see 2 and 3 are appearing twice in this example. So basically what we'll be doing is for every element we'll have an index and that index will be the element minus 1. For example 1 will have the index 0, 8 will have 7, 7 will have 6, the element minus 1 will be the index. So suppose I come to 2, so 2's index will be 1. So I go to the element at index 1 which is 3 and I turn that into negative if it is not already. Then again I come to 2. So now 2's index is again 2 minus 1, 1. So I go to the element at 1th index which is minus 3. So if it is already negative meaning that the element right now is being found for the second time. So it is appearing twice. So that is what we'll be doing. At each element, we'll find its index, which will be element minus 1, and we'll change the element at that index to negative. And if it is already negative, then our current number is appearing twice. You'll have a better example as I code it out. So let's get started. So let's just create the list first, which we'll be sending. So a list of integer. And let's call it list itself is equal to new, and this will be an array list of again integer but we don't need to write that simply this okay now just a sim single loop i is equal to 0 to less than n then i plus plus okay so as i said we'll have an index so that will be int index and as i said it will be nums of i minus 1 but before that we should also use absolute why because we'll be turning each element into negative so to make sure that we don't get an error, we'll have this as absolute. So math.absolute of the number minus 1, which will give us our index. Now at that index, as I said, we have to check. So if nums of that index, if it is already less than 0, then our current number is appearing twice. So we'll say list dot add our current number, nums of i. And if it is not, then what we'll do is we'll turn that index number to negative. So nums of index, negative as in negative of itself. Nums of index is equal to minus 1 into nums of index. And that's pretty much we have all we had to do. Let me just remove all this extra space. Yeah. Okay. So and here also we should use the absolute because as I said we'll be returning we'll be turning the values into negative and in the end we'll return the list so let's try ah we don't have n let's just define n so n is equal to nums dot length or you can just use nums dot length there directly not a problem Yeah, let's try to submit it. Okay, so this works. So again, to summarize, what we're doing is for each element where and we're dealing with absolute. So every time you find an element, use the absolute of that only. So every time you find an element, we're finding its index, which is the element minus one. If the number at that index is less than zero, then it is already, then our number has been found already it's appearing twice otherwise we're finding the number for the first time and its corresponding index returning to negative
so that's all pretty much we had to do and we did it without using any extra space as you can see so that's it thank you